Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. This video is going to be a modern classics ooh, book haul with a lot of heavy books. So all of these books are from the publisher Dean Street Press and they are all part of the furrowed mirror, middle brow book series which takes uh, authors, women authors from the 20th century whose books sadly have for what out, whatever reason gone out of print and they have republished them for the modern reader. So if you like Persephone books you will like these. If you like the British Library Women Writers series you will like these. Speaking of the British Library, if you like the British Library crime classics, which as you know I do, uh, you need to also check out Dean Street Press in general because they do the same thing with their classic crime. So they also republish classic crime books from the 20th century that again for whatever reason have now in the modern age gone out of print and unpublished and Dean Street Press republishes them. You should see my wish list it is ridiculous for books from Dean Street Press. Now they do republish Patricia Wentworth. I'm just gonna put that out there. They republish Patricia Wentworth. Now, as you know, I love Patricia Wentworth. I'm currently reading her Miss Silver series and I'm very, very close to the end. And I often get asked, where do I start with Patricia Wentworth? Where's the best place to start with her? Well, I often say, you know, a Miss Silver book because that's the series that I'm reading. But actually, because that book series is over 30 books long, a great way to start with her perhaps would be to go to Dean Street Press and get one of her standalone novels, just a golden age mystery novel, and try her writing style. And if you enjoy that writing style, then you can perhaps uh, progress on to reading perhaps her Miss Silver series, which she's most famous for because the books are amazing. Patricia Wentworth deserves so much love and respect and thank you Dean Street Press for republishing them. Um, as I said, you should see my wish list because it is huge. They don't just republish Patricia Wentworth, they publish a whole load of other crime writers from the 20th century and I need to read them all. <laughs> anyway, shall we get straight into it? So these are, as I said, from the Forward Mirror Bra series. I have a mixture of one of these I bought myself and then the rest I was very kindly sent for review. So I'm going to start with the one that I bought myself and the one that started this now addiction of these books. And I've heard a lot of people and they say this similar thing. It's one of those things that once you've started reading one of one of the books in the Furred Mary Brass series, you can't stop. And honestly, you can't because I haven't read a bad book of one of these yet. I've read a few of them and they've all been brilliant and I feel like I'm missing out if I don't read them. So anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling. So the one that I bought myself and started off this addiction is Begin Again by Ursula Orange, which I'm gonna be doing um, a review of these books in, in due course, but very briefly, it's about four young women, as you could probably see from the, <laughs> from the uh, cover, and they all are leading their life in early adulthood in different ways. And it's about life in the 1930s for these young women. And all I can say, it's amazing. Anyway, um, so it's a book from the 1930s, which as you know, I love the 1930s. And I started reading it and pretty much as soon as I started it, I knew it was gonna be a five star read and it was. Um, but again, I don't wanna say too much. That's amazing. But anyway, uh, so the covers all have this kind of look to them where it's kind of got a house on the top. Inside, I'm so thrilled by this. So inside, they do what a lot of books do. So they give you a little chat about the author, but then, oh, thank you so much, Dean Street Press. They give the other titles by the author and their year they were published. Yes. Why doesn't more publishers do that? Because... They should. I'm always wanted to know like the order of books and things. It's always a pain, but yeah. And then the spines all look like this. So they're white and then with the red DSP. I think the crime ones, I think this is black instead of red. And then at the back just looks like these. So it's a quote at the top and then synopsis and then 
quotes from different people saying how amazing this book is. So yes, this one was the one that started off my addiction. And you did. Look how beautiful it is. Anyway, shall I show you the rest of the books? <laughs> so, uh, I was reading that one, I loved it, and I thought, oh, I'll get in touch with Dean Street Press and see if they send out books for review, and they said they do. Now, I didn't want to be too cheeky, too cheeky, so initially I just asked for four. And the four that I asked for, first of all, was Miss Plum and Miss Penny by Dorothy Evelyn Smith, which is a book from 1959. Yes, 1959. And it's about these two women, um, Miss Plum and Miss Penny. Miss Penny is living a very happy life and in walks Miss Plum and shakes things up a bit. And it's one of these books that I wanted because I haven't heard a single bad thing about this book. Everyone that's been talking about this book have been raving about it. So yeah, had to get it. Then the next book that I asked for, I was looking at the cover and it was the cover that intrigued me to at first because just look at that. First of all it's pink and then second of all it's just stunning, it's beautiful, so beautiful. So this is Mrs Martell by Elizabeth Elliot. Elizabeth, what a good name. This is from 1953 I think, yes, 1953. And this is about a woman who kind of wants it all. She wants money, she wants class, she wants status, and she wants other people's husbands. So, couldn't pass that up either. Plus, I really liked the quote on the back for this one, which I will read to you. As far as I am concerned, Art Violet, I don't want another penny of your money. I can go out and earn my bread. And she saw a distinct picture of herself, working her fingers to the bone and being seduced by goodness knows whom. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> so yeah, had to have that one. Then the next one was Brompton Wicket by Elizabeth Fair, which first published in 1952. And I wanted this one because I wanted an Elizabeth Fair book. Now, Elizabeth Fair is another author similar to Miss Plum and Miss Penny book, where I haven't heard a single bad thing about. And so I wanted to read one of her works. I didn't know where to start. And I thought, Do you know what? Why don't you start at the beginning? This is her first book. And I believe Dean Street Press have republished all of them in the Furrowed Mirabral series. So you can now get all of them. By the sounds of it, it sounds almost Map and Lucia-like. So it's about a village, um, but it's kind of like a satirical, funny type of book, which, as you know, I adore Map and Lucia. So if it's anything at all like that, I know I will like it. So looking forward to getting to this one. And then I also asked for Company in the Evening by Ursula Orange. So as you know, I was reading Begin Again by Ursula Orange and so I had to ask very kindly if they'd send me this one. This is from 1944 and this is a fictional book set in World War II, London in the Blitz, and we have a young divorcee who's trying to navigate her life and work with having a daughter as well. And yeah, I'm fascinated to get to it. Begin Again was written so amazingly well that I can't wait to get to this book just simply to read Ursula Orange's writing again because it's wonderful. And then that was kind of it, but then uh, the lovely gentleman that I was speaking to said, oh, can I recommend this one as well and put this in? And I was like, of course, because this book was already on my wish list. So I was like, oh yes, please. Uh, this is a Chelsea concert Concerto by Francis Favell. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Um, but this one is actually a memoir from the Blitz so World War II in London and Chelsea. So whereas this book that I requested is fictional, this is actually a memoir. So I'm really intrigued to read this. And the picture on the front, this is actually taken from uh, a, a portrait that Frances actually painted herself, I believe. So yeah, I'm really intrigued to read this. I think it might be quite an emotional read as well, but fascinated to to get to those and then they sent out an email um saying we have some new books coming out and they do in january they have um 
a selection of new books by Marjorie Sharp and Stella Gibbons coming out into the world, republishing them again. Now, I've recently read a Marjorie Sharp, I recently read Cloney Brown, which I really enjoyed, and then I decided I want to read all her works. And you can't, <laughs> quite simply, because a lot of them are out of print. But in comes Dean Street Press. It's like they read my mind and they are republishing loads of Marjorie Sharp and republishing loads of Stella Gibbons. Stella Gibbons is probably most famous for Cold Comfort Farm and so they said is there any that you'd like and I again didn't want to be cheeky just asked for three. Uh, so I asked for Rhododendron Pie. I had to ask for Rhododendron Pie by Marjorie Sharp because this is her first novel and I've heard great things about this book. I have no idea why this book went unpublished, but it did. Uh, this is from 1930 and yeah, I'm just, I can't wait to read this. I, I have no idea what it's about other than I've heard it's meant to be really, really good. So had to get that one. And then the other one that I had to get by Marjorie Sharp is A Foolish Gentlewoman, which to be honest, the cover sold me. But I, again, I read Cleany Brown and the writing was just wonderful. And sometimes you, you click with an author because of their writing and then you just want to read everything by them. And sometimes you can't because their work's out of print. So for instance, my favourite book of all time, if I have to pick one, is Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson. Try to pick up any other Winifred Watson. Try to find any of her books. Nope, can't do it that they're not there anymore and it's such a shame. So I'm really appreciative to publishers like Dean Street Press for bringing out these wonderful books. The only problem is they're addictive and you wanna read them all. Anyway, <laughs> the last one is one from Stella Gibbons and this is The Weather at Tregula. Again, I know very little about this, but it just sounded very good. It's about um, a, a young girl, young girl, young woman called Una who wants a very different life. She wants to like um, live on live in London and stuff but she lives in the country and she's she's after a different life so to speak but she's 19 and she's kind of desperate to break from the mould. So yes those three and a whole bunch of others are going to be uh, published out into the world in January 2021. So I better get reading. So there we have it. That is my modern classics book haul. These are my books from Dean Street Press Furred Middle Brow book series. That is quite a mouthful to say. I hope you have enjoyed this. Chat to me in the comments all things modern classics bookish. Have you picked up any uh, from the Furred Mirror Brow series? If so, which ones have you picked up? I, as I said, I have so many on my wish list from the Farad Mirabra series and just generally from like Dean Street Press classic crime series that I want to get to. But what I'll do is in the first line of the description box will be Dean Street Press's website so you can go and check them out because they've got a ton of books on there um, that they need to be read. They need to be read and I'm going to make it my duty to get through them. <laughs> anyway, that is it for my books and my video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Take care and I shall see you soon for the next one. Bye for now.